Okay, the meeting is now being recorded for those who, who might otherwise have said something inappropriate. <laughs> um, so uh, that is, uh, uh, I guess, my uh, gratitude to you, um, to everyone who, who, who works for OPWDD uh, in service, um, to, to say thank you, and to thank you, and especially to those who have become been recognized as the employees of the year. Uh, with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, State Operations in Central New York, I believe is where we're going to start first. Is, is that right? Yes, that's what that's my correct. agenda says. Okay, fantastic. Hi, uh, this is Kristen Ward. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Acting Director for Region 2 State Operations. And I'm going to uh, introduce you to Bonita Johnson, our employee of the year. Um, there are a few things more important to me than taking time to acknowledge the people around us who have such astounding influence on other people's lives. Recognizing the strength, devotion, resilience, and tireless pride of these colleagues who deserve thanks every single day. And of those who have risen in the eyes of their peers to be identified as employee of the year nominees and honorees. I am pleased to join you today to honor those who triumph in the eyes of their colleagues, families, members of the community, and in the eyes and hearts of the very people they support. I and the leadership of this agency extend genuine thanks and congratulations to Bonita Johnson, our employee of the year honoree, who is our master key to the bright future of those whose lives she graces with her presence, her insights, her advocacy, and her spirit and work ethic. That said, I'll turn this program over to Bonita's treatment team leader, Laura Greenfield, to share some remarks and redeeming attributes of our honoree. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, Benita is our direct support professional and employee of the year due to her outstanding efforts to help support individuals with developmental disabilities. She volunteered to work at five houses who had individuals positive with COVID this past year. She, vol she volunteered to work while many others couldn't. Benita has stated, I knew that if I wore my PPE, washed my hands, wiped and cleaned highly touched surfaces with disinfectant wipes, I would be okay. We all need that extra attention we, when we are not feeling well. So I always try to make people as comfortable as possible and put a smile on their faces. Taking care of and helping others puts a smile on my face and makes my heart happy, my soul sing. Benita has always shown her caring nature and is loved by the guys at Onondaga IRA. She's worked at this house since 2011 and spends much of her time there. She'll tell you that it's like a second home. She considers the guys her family and some of them feel the same for her. Benita will tell you that she enjoys making a difference in the individual's lives, but also the guys make a difference in hers. We are pleased to have New York State Senator John Mannion with us today and who will be presenting Benita with a special recognition for her tireless efforts supporting individuals with developmental disabilities this past year. Our team, our agency, and our region appreciate you. Benita, you are very deserving of this recognition, a true master key to our bright future. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your <laughs> Like to say it? Yes. Okay. Hello, this is Benita Johnson um, speaking. I just would like to say, um, ever since I was young, I always knew I wanted to help and take care of people. And um, watching my mom work endlessly, first black woman at her job, um, single parent. So I learned early hard work, work ethics, compassion, and through it all, see smiles coming through my mom's uh, face. So I know that you gotta have a sense of humor. You gotta be a um, 
in a sense of shoulder, listening ear, and have fun um, taking care of the guys and hanging out with the guys, plus do work. So I enjoy the guys. I enjoy all the staff at Onondaga, and I enjoy Team 5. And I want to say congratulations to all the other honorees, as well as uh, the ones who were recognized. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did the senator want to share any remarks or was he going to just be a uh, present senator? I certainly want to give you that no. opportunity. Yeah. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for everything that you do. I appreciate it. My my aunt had Down syndrome or lived in an IRA, and my son has autism. And I want to thank you as a family member, not as a representative of New York State. Thank you as a family member for all that you do. We know that it's challenging work. It's so necessary. You were drawn to it, as you said. I'm sure you consider it like a vocation to do this for the people. And on behalf of the people that you serve and the family members, I want to thank you for choosing to do this because you could have done many things, but you chose to do this and do it for a long time, and I appreciate it. I want to present you with this proclamation. It's not too long. Sometimes I don't read all of them. I'm going to read this one. Whereas it is the intent of the legislative body of the state of New York, the state Senate to recognize the achievements of those individuals who substantially contribute to the vitality of their communities and the entire state. And whereas attended to such concern, I, John W. Mannion, honor Benita Johnson for her recognition as the direct support professional of the year for the Central New York region of the New York State Office for People with Developmental Disabilities. And whereas Ms. Johnson has been an invaluable member of the OPWDD community for 25 years, her joy and life is in helping others. And that passion shows in the exemplary care she provides in her role as a direct support professional. Whereas Ms. Johnson has worked in many houses, on many teams, and always brings her generosity, kindness, compassion, professionalism, and sincerity to work, no matter the situation. And whereas the COVID-19 pandemic had such great impact on all individuals in New York. Ms. Johnson was on the front lines time and time again, courageously conquering her own fear to volunteer to work in several homes where individuals were COVID positive. Her work was often a key part of how OPWDD ensured the health and safety of those residents. So be it proclaimed that I, New York State Senator John Mannion, honor Benita Johnson for her recognition as the OPWDD Direct Support Professional of the Year for Central New York. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you. Senator, just before you just before you go, let's take the picture. <laughs> I'm always posing. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll look forward that to that on the on social media, Senator. Um, so we just, you know, at, at OPWD, you know, we, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't remember uh, another uh, elected official coming to to one of these events. Uh, I've done a few of them myself, and you know, uh, it really reflects uh, the the partnership uh, that we've uh, been able to forge and the va and the value uh, of of our direct support professionals and and the other professionals who work for OPWD in service. So. Can't tell you, uh, can't tell how, how much we appreciate you being here. Thank you, and, and I'm sure you would join me in honoring all, all all of the other employees of the year that are going to be honored today. Though you're you're only going to be in Syracuse for us. Thank you, Senator. I will 100%. Yes, you'll have to talk to the other senators about the proclamation. <laughs> well, you're the chair. You're the chair, Senator. You're you, you know we we'll get there, right? Thank you. All right. Yes, thank you, Roger. I, and I remember that this is re being recorded, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. So I believe that, uh, at least according to my agenda, we're going to head over to uh, uh, Long Island, uh, Bernard Feinson uh, now.
Is Long Island slash per or Bernard Tyson in the house and unmuted? Long Island here. Long Island here. Can you hear us? Okay. Yeah. So my name is Jill Delappy. I'm the deputy director in Long Island. And I'm here with many members of our team to congratulate our employee of the year, Maris Levesque, one of our RNs here. I'm going to turn it over to Shakol Allen, our DDPS4, who has some kind words to share. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Shakol Allen, and I'm the DDPS4 here at Long Island DDSO. I'm extremely happy to present our agency's employee of the year, Maris Levesque. Maris works at the DDSO as a registered nurse and she's been with our agency since 1993. Maris has worked in our ICS, IRAs, and day hab locations, with her last official assignment being Advantage Day Services here in Comac until the pandemic began. Since the temporary closing of the day hab, Maris has worked in several units within the agency, oftentimes on short notice. Most times, people like Maris go unrecognized in big organizations such as ours because she's soft-spoken and mild-mannered. However, she's caring, compassionate, and amazing with our individuals and staff. At a time when health and wellness is a high priority for most, Maris has managed to keep our individuals healthy during these, this crisis. When I asked Maris how she's been able to work so well in all of all of these different units over the past year, she told me that she loves her job and she loves the individuals we serve. And I can attest to her dedication because there's been a bidding war here on Long Island amongst our team leaders on who would like to keep Maris in their unit. <laughs> uh, employees like Maris are the backbone of our agency. Even though we're unable to recognize them all, I hope our employees are able to share this special moment in honoring Maris as Long Island State Operations Employee of the Year for 2021. Thank you, Maris. Thank you. Come on, speak a little. <laughs> First, I wanted to thank God for placing me right here at this time, at this moment, uh, to be here with you guys. Um, I say thank you to every single one employee that choose to pick me as an employee of the year this year. Even with COVID, um, as COVID came in and we all know it was hard, changing from home to home did not change me the way I am, how I take the job seriously. Um, the reason I'm here, I know my heart knows because I bring my joy every single house that I step in and try to make a change between the staff and the client as well. Thank you again. Thank you, everybody. Is that, uh, is that it, it for uh, Long Island, for Bernard Pinson? All right, I'm yeah. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tom Marie Olden Mahomes. I'm Deputy Director of Bernard Pinson. This one's for not one Director here at Bernard Feinstein. I am very pleased to announce our employee of the year is Sabrina Gina. She has pleasantly reminded me that she will be here for a total of I'm sorry, we I think we've lost her audio, uh, Tonya Mary. I just want to make sure, are other people hearing her or no? Just a shake of the head or a nod of the head, maybe? No, okay. What? Heard now? 
We can hear you now. We lost the video for you, Tanya Marie. But right. Do you want to? You want? Should we go go somewhere else maybe for a minute? See if you can sort out the technical difficulties, and we'll yep. we'll come we'll come back around. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go over to uh, well, let's just go a little bit west, uh, Brooklyn, Metro New York, and Staten Island. I think those are next uh, uh, next on our our list. If somebody's talking, we can't hear you. Kathy? Kathy Lamar, are you, yeah, I think you're muted if you're trying to present. Hey, hey, Roger, it's Helen, and I'm sitting here with Kathy. Um, but yeah, I couldn't get on on my computer. So you... yeah, I'm sorry. The the, bot, the dots are so small that I can barely tell anybody who's anybody. I'm just reading the name. Say sorry, Helen. <laughs> okay. Um, so so we're up to Capital District and Sunmount, correct? Is that... we are at Brooklyn Metro, New York, Staten Island? I thought, which is why I was also confused as to why y'all were presenting. But I can't hear anybody from Brooklyn Metro, New York, Staten Island. Anybody there who is here? Why don't we go to? Why don't we go? You got the stage. We're going to go to Capitol. Perfect. Let's let's go to Capitol <laughs> District. So uh, thank you very much. And you know, truly. As we go on with these, there's very little I can add to what other people are saying in terms of just how much we value, you know, our employees and, and this event is just, um, you know, so important to recognize, you know, our staff in this way. So I'll jump right into it with Capital District. Our uh, employee of the year is Mike Revelia. And I have some information. His, uh, his supervisor, David, had... Um, nominated him and what he says about him is that mike is has a tireless work ethic and he's willing to do whatever it takes no questions asked to make sure that the house stays running properly and the individuals are properly cared for uh he says mike is always a pleasure to have in the house he's willing to help out with any without any hesitation he volunteers for, you know, when he when he's called on to have to float to another house, he helps his peers out. He volunteers himself. Sometimes that leads to himself being mandated and he just continues on. He doesn't, you know, he says he, he does it without a single complaint that he always steps up. He works back to back doubles to keep the house afloat and he has an outstanding work ethic. So thank you very much to you, Michael. And, um, you know, we certainly appreciate everything that you do uh, for us. Is there anybody on who would like to say anything additional uh, for Mike? Yes, we're on. Can you hear us, Helen? I can hear you. Okay, this is Melissa Cameron. We're at Davidson IRA uh, with Mike and some of the team. Uh, we don't have audio for some reason. I mean, we don't have video, so you can't see us. But Mike is here. We've got balloons. We have some of the individuals. We have cake, and we just want his um, his DA one to say some words. Um, first of all, Mike is a pleasure to work with. He's always here. He's um, he works endlessly. He's um, I I I just can't say enough about Mike. He is a very very good worker. Mike is happy that we have no video though. <laughs> He's happy, but we do have balloons here. We're very thankful for everything that Mike does at Davidson and all of our in, all of our staff here at Capital District. Mike, would you like to say anything? Uh, just thank you for nominating me, and you know I try my best, and I feel like any of my other coworkers could have got it. Besides me, I think we're a great team. Yeah, yep. it is a good team. Thank you, Mike. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa and team. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Oh, we've been unmuted. This is Metro New York. Can anyone hear us? Please? No. We can hear Metro New York, but are we done hey. with Capital Region? Did we finish? I think we had one more. Didn't know. Yeah, we have to do we have to do Sunmount. 
Perfect. Okay. And Bernard, so I can finally on. Thank you. Sorry. So we'll go, we'll go we'll go Sunmount, we'll go Feinson, and then we'll go to Metro. We'll do it that way. I'm just making it up as I go along. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> that's that's the, the joy of live TV. <laughs> um, so for Sunmount, we have our employee of the year is Brandon McNamara. Brandon is a DA, DSA at uh, 61 Hay Meadow in Tupper Lake. He has 11 years of service with us. Brandon is an example of what one could only hope for all employees to be. Brandon is always pleasant and helpful to the individuals he cares for, as well as his coworkers. He is diligent and impeccable in the care that he provides. He pays great attention to the passing of medication, shows genuine concern toward the people he provides services for, and advocates strongly for them. Brandon is not a complainer. He maintains a calm and laid back demeanor with everyone. There are few individuals that seek him out as he, as almost as he has almost a calming effect on them. There is one individual that has endured some significant metal, medical issues during the past year. This person always asks for Brandon, calling him my buddy, and Brandon will always take the time to sit and talk with him and explain things that uh, you know that he doesn't always understand, such as you know it needs for medication and lab work and things like that. So the assistance that Brandon provides. Is always well received. Brandon is a tremendous asset to the often busy and sometimes difficult residents at 61 Hay Meadow. He has a positive influence and role model for all. So thank you, Brandon. Uh, do, do we have anybody from Sunmount who would like to speak? I know Brandon works nights, so I'm not even sure if Brandon is on. Do we have anybody from Sunmount who would like to say anything? Okay, so sometimes this could be one of those uh, not being able to get on thing. <laughs> they might be muted, but uh, I think at this point we can we can move forward. All right, and it could be that Danielle if someone's working nights unmute. that 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 they're sleeping right now. So uh, we honor we honor those who can be present and those who who might not be able to be present at the current home. Yeah. Uh, let me throw it over to Bernard Feinson. Bernard Feinson with better technology now. Fantastic. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I'll try it again. Good morning. My name is Tanya Marie Obi McCombs. I am deputy director here at Bernard Feinson. I have the pleasure of introducing our employee of the year, Sabrina Gina. In a year that has in a year and a half that has been extremely challenging, um, it really tested our will and our faith and our ability to work together. And I have to say through it all, there is, I mean, everyone in here is employee of the year, but with Sabrina Gina, she has gone above and beyond in regards to the care of the individuals. She did everything as a habilitation specialist. One, she um, ensures that data and documentation is always taken care of. And not only that, in regards to the Medicaid aspect of her position, she also made sure that the individuals in all the group homes were cared for. She didn't care how long it took to be at work. There were many times, especially when we were in the heart of the pandemic, that she stayed and didn't care how long she had to stay as long as the individuals were good and well and taken care of. She would notice that there were some staff that were tired and exhausted and would come and step in and assist any way she can. Um, when you talk about teamwork, her name pops up immediately because there's no one that does it better. Um, and I guess that has to do with the almost 31 years come February right, of um, experience from entry level to where she is today. Um, if we could give her employee of the year every day, we would, but I just like to say thank you so much. And I'm going to turn it over to her treatment team leader to provide more information in regards to Sabrina Gina. Hi, technical difficulties. Hi, I'm Jerry Craven. I'm the team leader for um, my group homes in Queens. Um, Sabrina is the epitome of dedication, of love, of professionalism. I'll give you one example. We, we were going through a Medicaid audit and Virginia, our DDP4S, had asked for documentation. And I said, oh, don't worry, Sabrina will have hers in on Friday. And she's like, I'm not worried about Sabrina. 
I really am not worried. She'll get all her stuff done and it's all in and it's all on time. Um, during the pandemic, Sabrina worked shifts at difficult group homes. She did the night shift and then came to work the next day to do her ResHab stuff. She took on additional cases of ResHab, uh, ResHab coordination when uh, we had people retire suddenly. So her caseload went from three to seven and all of them have met all the highest standards of ResHab and Medicaid coordination. When Sabrina goes into a home, it's not just, hi guys, she greets each one individually. She engages them in conversation. She knows what they like. She knows what they don't like. She knows their behaviors. She's just a total asset. And as a team leader, I couldn't be happier or more proud. So I'm going to let Sabrina, who, by the way, we had to drag here today. <laughs> we were actually taking bets on whether she'd show up because she's, she's very humble and doesn't like this kind of public, uh, uh, public attention. So I'm going to have her say a few words. I just like to say thank you, and I um, want to share this with all the bisons. Um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. And for the individuals, um, I think it's a team effort, and I was just doing my team part. That's all. And I want to say thank you again. Um, thank you, um, Henry. Uh, I'm glad you guys finally figured out your uh, your technical difficulties. Um, we yes, should we did, thank you. Also, <laughs> we should probably also do Staten Island since we're in uh, Region Five. Is there someone there from Staten Island? I think we're going to jump to Metro next. They were at least had their technology rocking yeah. and rolling. Can you That's hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, who, who, who's, who's the last? There we this go. Is Metro. We go. Um, I think other people are having the same problem that they're muted and they can't tell you they're muted because the host is muted. Them. Hi, can you hear us from back here? Yes, it sounds like we were having an echo. Yes. If you throw into the chat room, if you have access to that, who, and you need to be unmuted, unmuted, that might be helpful. So this is, uh, we're talking to Metro right now. Hi, Metro. Hi, Metro. There we are. Hey, Metro. Okay, look, just a thumbs up. You guys can't hear us, right? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. My name is Stephanie Hardy Hill. I am the deputy director for uh, Metro covering I mean, um, the Bronx and Manhattan. And I have the pleasure of congratulating and introducing our Metro Employee of the Year, Mr. Layton Harris. I'm going to turn the floor over to those that work closely with him. Um, I guess first will be our nursing administrator. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, our MPC. Nathan. <laughs> is a soft-spoken spoken person with a big heart and an inviolable smile. He is an example of what nursing should be. He is a person who cares for his individuals, co-workers, and his job. Layton, I would like to thank you for your selfless service to the individuals of Metro New York and also your service during difficult times that we have experienced last year. And your call to help were there. You never turn us down. I want you to know how much sacrifice and dedication to your profession. Appreciate it. You are truly a strong hero that you New York be here. Congratulations for being 2020 Metro New York DESO employee. 
Jezebel, would you like to say a few words? Jezebel Abrams, I'm Nathan's supervisor in I am very proud to be here. Say thank you to Layton, supervisor, myself, and my brother, retired Layton. Day one, he came highly recommended. He actually came in the place of a friend who I was trying to hire who recommended him highly. And from day one, day Layton has always represented, represented nursing with his integrity. With his giving of himself, there is not one time I've asked him to move to another residence that he complained to. He has worked with me in multiple homes in uh, Manhattan, going wherever I send him or ask him to go without a complaint. He has always given of his best. Nathan, congratulations to you. We'll now hear some words from Patricia Norset. Oh, I'm sorry, did someone else? Leslie Carrington. We have a few people that want to pay honor to Layton. Just, just one more step. A um, couple of things that I want to say as far as Layton is concerned, he is so compassionate. He works with us at the Manhattan Day Program. And when I first came, because I haven't even been there, it's coming up on a year. But since I've been there, Layton has just been welcoming me with open arms. I feel like I've known him all my life, because that's the type of person that he is. I love watching him interact with our individuals as well as the staff. Layton is someone who will make his rounds he will come in if they're doing arts and crafts, he'll engage. If they're playing ball, he'll engage. If they're dancing, he'll engage. He's not just a nurse. <laughs> but his bedside manner, as far as our individuals are concerned, when it comes to easing their minds when something is wrong, when they're not feeling well, he's at the top of the class. And one of the things that touched me the most, because I have, have um, an illness, I have diabetes. So oh, Mr. Harris, when he was off, called my, my phone and said, you take your medicine. <laughs> and I <laughs> said, I was so overwhelmed and I said, Layton, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Layton, Congratulations on this honor. There is nobody more deserving of it than you. <laughs> Lastly, we have Patricia Norset before we'll give Layton the opportunity to just share some words. Layton, we're all here today to thank you for the dedication. Patricia, read it out loud. Okay. Metro DDSL Employee of the Year Award. I'm sorry, Metro. We, we just are having a real hard time, I think, hearing you. Uh, going to, yeah. I don't know what happened to the audio. In appreciation of your ongoing service, devotion, and commitment to the individuals at OPWPD. Okay. Thank you, Metro. We're going to take it over to Brooklyn. All right. <laughs> 
Uh, first off, I'd like to thank everyone who worked so tirelessly to put this event together. Um, I'd like to give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, our tech support guys, because we had such so much tech difficulty today. Um, we're gonna honor Shang Yang Chang here in Brooklyn. Shang is our chief physical therapist who has been employed with OPWDD for 21 years. He was nominated by the Pest Council leader, Ms. Carrie Saunders. As for Ms. Saunders, he is a long overdue for this recognition, simply because he goes above and beyond to provide optimal care to individuals and avails himself to serving others here at the Brooklyn DDSO. In addition, Ms. Saunders acknowledged that he is one in a million because he never says no. When called to duty to assist others, Shang is available. Ms. Latoya Williams, who's our Region uh, 5 Clinic Administrator, acknowledged that he is not just an exemplary chief physical therapist, he is a remarkable person who leads by example, encourages others to be proactive in the care of the individuals. His willingness to assist others and his commitment to OPWDD is unequal, equivocal. Many of his colleagues at the Article 16 clinic wrote letters on his behalf, recognizing that he is a noteworthy person who is a team player. Mr. Shang always encourages others to be proactive when caring for our individuals. Many of those letters acknowledge that he is a team player, pleasant, reliable, resourceful, and caring. The individuals here at Brooklyn DDSO are fond of him because he's always respectful, patient, and one of the one with a great attitude. Therefore, we are proud to recognize that his dedication and service to the individuals has given him the title of Brooklyn DDSO's 2021 Employee of the Year. Shane, we present you with this award for your outstanding efforts to help the individuals with developmental disabilities live a richer life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank my fellow colleagues for nominating me and the committee for choosing me. Um, this is a great honor. I hope I really deserve it. Um, all this year, you know, all this year I've been working with the DDSO, visiting houses, you know, including DC, and I observe, particularly this past year and a half, I've observed the staff, you know, working diligently and contribute the best they have to serve the individuals. That's why I feel that I hope I really deserve this one because I see so many of them. They definitely deserve this honor. Why am I here? They are still working in the field for our individuals. So I would like to humbly share this honor with all our DPSO employees. That is pretty thank you. Thank you. Our Staten Island office, I don't know if Staten Island's on, but there we go. Okay. So we're gonna uh, pass it over to George Santiago, who's gonna present Linda Carter Perez. Good, good afternoon, everyone. I want to present Linda Carter Perez as I'm for the year. Can't hear you, George. Can you hear me now? No? No? Yeah, I think the mic is closer. You gotta come closer to the mic. <laughs> How about now? Okay. You just mute it. You muted. How about now? Yep. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, could, if, if other folks could just mute their mics, uh, that's not Staten Island, we're getting a, that reverb thing, which means it's very hard to hear you. Thanks. Can you guys hear me now without the echo? That's much better. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. As I was saying, the Slimby Carter is one of our most dedicated, compassionate, competent, high energy women that we have ever met. She is a loyal and devoted to all our individuals. She will do anything in her power to keep them happy, healthy, and safe. Linda cares about Linda cares for her work family like does she like she does her home family. And everyone wants her attention because she she has the real ability ability to make everyone feel special. Over the past year, being sure that she managed she manages to get everyone ready for many clinics, programs, and just ready for to, for them to start their day. No matter how busy she is, if she sees an individual display a sign of discomfort, she will stop and do her best to alleviate their distress. Linda stays late often and will off and will even stop on by on her off days to make sure things are taken care of. As a supervisor, she has a lot of paperwork and duties, but is 100% hands-on with the individual. When the kitchen when the kitchen staff when the kitchen is short of staff, Linda will cook for the house. Linda will make everyone care any anyone caring for the individual. She will tidy up a room in a minute and not miss a beat. Her love, devotion, and loyalty and fairness are without parallel. Linda, Linda, Linda's heart is large and her intentions are beyond reproach. She is truly deserving of this award. Thank you. Staten Island, are you all done or then were you going to give a few more words? I'm going to say a couple of words. And we have the chief show here wants to say a couple of words. Perfect. Linda, congratulations. Are you so deserving of this award? Um, if I could ask whoever's speaking, maybe you come where the gentleman was sitting because we could all hear him real clear and then I can't hear the others. Yep. How's that? <laughs> so, Linda, you are very deserving of this award. You provide compassionate, selfless care to every person that lives in Building 24 every day. Linda puts her best foot forward every day. You're a leader, and I'm so proud to have you in the house. You hold it all together. You are the glue. You hold it all together every day, even when the house is short. Um, <laughs> but I'm so proud to have you. And um, the house, I know that they wouldn't be able to function without you. You are the backbone. And congratulations, you really deserve this. <laughs> As, um, for the past almost 23 years, I have served the, um, people with special needs. It is a pleasure of mine to continue in this field. I want to thank um, F Staten Island DDSO for accepting me into this field where I have found myself and, and sharing myself, giving care. And it's, it's been a pleasure. And I want to thank God for each day that I asked him for the strength. He gave me that daily strength that I come in and I could make a difference in, in the, the life of the individual that we saw. And I want to thank each and everyone that support me and continue to support me. We are a team, team player. 
we are not this by myself because without them, I won't be able to achieve what I've achieved today. I have learned a lot in the SIDDSO and um, many things I came in with and many things I received and looking forward to moving on as much as I can with the strength of the good Lord. And I thank all those who also have been um, nominated and received this um, achievement that they are continue to appreciate it. And let's go forward to sort the people with, with um, special needs. So let's uh, thank you, Staten Island. Uh, why don't we roll over to uh, up the uh, up the Hudson, the Hudson Valley uh, to Connick. Hi, thank you, Roger, and good afternoon to all. I'm uh, Yvonne Lenzen, Director of State Operated Services in Region Four. Here with my deputy directors, Michelle Dawkins, Jennifer Rowe, and Bill Durkin. And we want to start out by extending our heartfelt congratulations to all of the OPWDD employees that are being honored this year. But of course, our special compliments and cheers go to the two state operations office for supervisors that are being recognized as the employees of the year 2021 for Hudson Valley and Taconic. We are here today to honor the two of you for the part you play in our enduring mission to better the lives of people with developmental disabilities. Your dedication and service truly enhance the meaning of Batopela or people first, which is a phrase and corresponding principles all of us in public service should be familiar with. Those two words are powerful, and if your actions are guided by them, you will be an ideal public servant one who realizes the importance of teamwork and respecting your colleagues, of caring for the individuals you serve, and of wanting to serve them to the best of your abilities. Well, our two honorees are the epitome of OPWDD's guiding principle, putting people first. And that is why they were chosen by their colleagues to receive this special award. I'm honored to applaud such devoted employees today, and I will introduce them briefly but I really want their colleagues who nominated them and who work side by side with them to tell you how special they are. So up first is Hudson Valley's Employee of the Year, Maureen Polson Rivers. Maureen is a DA2 who has 23 years of state service and who provides oversight and support to our most independent men and women at King Street, one of the two supported sites available to higher functioning individuals at Hudson Valley. However, she also currently provides managerial coverage to two supervised IRAs in Westchester County, Tuckahoe and Moran, which bears strong testimony of her leadership skills, her work ethic, and her team spirit. I don't want to give it all away, though, and we'll turn it over to Maureen's DA3, Paulette Goya, and DDPS4, Mary Klein, who are with her right now and who want to talk about this special person. Congratulations to you, Maureen. Well deserved. Mary, we cannot hear you if you're speaking. All right, well, maybe we will go over to Taconic uh, while Hudson Valley uh, clears up their technical difficulties. So next up is Taconic's employee of the year, Scott Pitcher, who has 15 years of state service and is currently a DA3 residential coordinator in Area 1 covering Dutchess and Columbia County. Prior to that work assignment, Scott was part of the CSEA care pilots leading the work crew at Amenia Program Center, where he was well liked and respected by individuals and coworkers alike. He has a strong work ethic and always puts a positive spin on any situation he's confronted with. Scott has a can do attitude and often volunteers to take on extra responsibilities. Again, I don't want to say too much about his talents, but let his team do the talking. So with that, I will turn it over to his treatment team leader, Lorraine Betts, and DDPS4, Jeff Weiss, who are with Scott right now. 
Ms. Congratulations Barrio. to you, Scott. Okay, so that's fine. Thank you. Thanks, Yvonne. I'm here with Scott Pitcher, and I'm here with Lorraine Betts, his team leader. Um, Scott, I truly value you as a member of our team. You are a hard worker, and I appreciate the extra things you do beyond the scope of your duties. You always do what is asked with a positive attitude. Thank you for being a great team player. You are someone everyone on our team knows will be there for them through thick and thin. I admire your ability to connect with your staff and the extra time you take to guide and mentor them. You spend the time necessary to help them understand the bigger picture of our agency. We appreciate your work ethic and your willingness to take calls when off duty and ensuring your team has what it means to get through the day. Thank you for your continued dedication as you have worked long hours and have often not put in for the overtime. Finally, I appreciate your sense of humor as it goes a long way in helping your coworkers handle a stressful day. Congratulations on being this year's employee of the year. It is well deserved. Yep. Thank you, Taconic. Let's try to go back to Hudson Valley. Yvonne, Yvonne, Lorraine was going to say a few words. On, on, on. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I first met Scott when I was first hired and still working on uh, Wasay campus. And when he would come on duty, the individuals would absolutely go crazy and hang on his arms and say, Yay, Scott's here, Scott's here. And I remember thinking to myself, wow, nobody else gets a, you know, a hello that way. And I remember thinking that he was really a very special employee. I had never seen that reaction from individuals. And now that he's my DA3 for my team, he shows the same care to the staff and individuals on my team. Makes himself available to problem solve and is always willing to help. He never says no. He answers calls even when he is off duty and on the weekends, holidays, everything. If he can help, he does. He doesn't ever complain and he is always calm under pressure. He has a positive attitude and a wonderful sense of humor. And I find Scott to be a total pleasure to work with. And he is definitely an asset to my team and to Chronic BDSO. Congratulations, Scott. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody. Um, it's really overwhelming. Um, I do truly appreciate the efforts that everybody puts in. And uh, thank you, everybody. Congratulations, Scott, and I think Hudson Valley is back online. Yep, we are here. We are here. My name is Mary Klein. I'm the DBPS for in Westchester County, and it is my great honor to present Maureen. Maureen is a dedicated member of her team. She has gone above and beyond as a leader in her house, as well as within the team. Maureen was instrumental during the first round of reconfiguration with King Street. When the lease was not renewed at the Mount Vernon Apartments, Maureen worked with her team and took care of the individuals to ensure there was no disruption in care. When called upon, Maureen helped to cover Tuckahoe. Throughout the staffing crisis during the COVID pandemic, Maureen remained dedicated and devoted, never calling out. While she was coordinating staffing, managing anxious family members' calls, and taking care of the individuals, she made sure the house was stocked with everything needed. Additionally, staff counted on Maureen for emotional support. Maureen, it is a great honor to present you with the Employee of the Year Award. You are dedicated to your team and individuals. Thank you for supporting your team and individuals. And I'm going to turn it over to Maureen's DA3, Paulette Doja. Hey, uh, Maureen is a very reliable, dependable, and always advocates for, encourages, guides, and teaches the individuals she serves to express their personal choices. Maureen, I just want you to know that the little things you do every day makes a huge difference. Thank you for your dedication and your willingness to go the extra mile. Thank you. Just 
just wanted to say thank you so much, everyone, for who uh, coordinated this event. And also, I didn't do it by myself. This takes a team. And I thank you all. I'm very passionate for my individuals and my job. And once again, I really appreciate it. And I'm in such elation at the moment. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Hudson Valley. Thank you so much to Connick. I, in my enthusiasm to celebrate Central New York, forgot about Broome. And so we skipped right over them and went straight down to the city. So, uh, Broome, do you have, uh, uh, I don't know who that representative of Broome is, but do we have an opportunity to get them on the, uh, on the screen? Is Broom in the house? All right, we'll see if Broom sorts through its technology. We're going to go now to uh, central office, uh, which is where I'm sitting, actually. We, we, have, a, we have a smaller crowd. Uh, let me see if I can do this. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to come up. And I've got uh, Ellie Smith here. I'm trying to to uh, talk about um, Casey Downey. Hi, everyone. My name is Ellie Smith, and I work here at Central Office in the Division of Quality Improvement, where I'm the director of um, a small unit within DQI. I am thrilled and honored to be here today with Casey Downey. Um, a couple of words about Casey. Casey is absolutely dedicated to the work that we do. Um, I am absolutely honored to call her my coworker. Um, Casey came to us right before COVID started. In fact, Casey began back with our unit on the day that all state offices closed due to COVID. And Casey didn't miss a beat. That closure did not impact or affect Casey or her response to our project. DQI was responsible for a lot of tracking and um, creation of a lot of databases and pulling data and reading data as it affected COVID and the various reports that were needed by OPWDD. As COVID first started, Casey looked at what was needed and she didn't even hesitate, Casey said, I've got it. I know how to do this, Ellie. I know how to pull these databases together. I know how to do the tracking. I know how to pull the information together. And Casey was able to lead our team. It was completely a team effort. Casey was able to bring everyone together. She was able to get all of the reports that we needed. She was able to show all of us how we could also get the reports together, how we could read the information. Um, and Casey, was able to find errors and corrections in her own work, and that led to just a much better product. We really relied on Casey during that time, and we rely on Casey in our unit every single day. So Casey, congratulations as employee of the year. Thank you. Well, first, I Thank you so much. I am so very honored. Um, I definitely am humbled and don't feel deserving of this as really everything that my unit does has always been a team effort. Um, there's nothing special that I feel that I did or would have accomplished if I didn't have the amazing team that I do and the amazing leadership that I have um, to give me the autonomy to say, okay, please do it. So I, I appreciate every single one of my coworkers that I get to work with every day at, that makes it so pleasurable. I also um, want to say, too, that this has been a very difficult year, both personally and professionally for many of us. And as I'm watching all the other employees of the year and their coworkers, I have so much admiration for all of you in the field and what you've had to go through, um, all the extra hours that many of us have put in. But when you're in the field, it's very different. So. Beyond my acceptance, I also want to thank you all for the tedious, hard, emotional work that you guys do every day, especially during this time. So thank you all very, very much.
Did you eat breakfast? Yeah, I had yogurt and blueberries this morning. Okay. No. <clears throat> I'm going to shack the shit out of her, aren't I? <laughs> We got a broom on the house. Hello, this is Kathy Strobel. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for your patience. I am the deputy director for Broom DDSO. And on behalf of Region 2, I am very pleased to introduce Alicia Martinez as our employee of the year. Alicia is a Habilitation Specialist 1 at Valley Ridge Center for Intensive Treatment in Norwich. And her coworkers describe Alicia as someone with a sunny disposition who always has a smile on her face, someone who is passionate and dedicated to her job. Alicia's supervisor, Kristen Newton, would like to share a few words. We are honored to introduce Alicia as our employee of the year. Um, as cliche as this sounds, um, if anyone deserves this recognition, it's Alicia. She has the best attitude day in and day out. She's always willing to help and go above and beyond. Um, this past year and a half of the pandemic, she was in the count helping um, staff. She was just doing everything and anything that was needed. Um, she gets her work done, but not only does she get it done, she it's, it's quality work, very quality. Um, she lifts people up, coworkers and individuals alike. Anyone that she comes in contact with, um, you just feel special when you're around her because oh. she's that nice to people. She's very kind. She's overall a great employee and great person, and she exemplifies what a wonderful, quality, hardworking employee is. And I'm proud that I get to supervise her. Oh. Do you have anything to say? Thank you. <laughs> I love what I do. I really love helping people. I've always loved helping people. And as far as putting a smile on everyone's face, I, 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 I love to make people happy. It makes me happy knowing other people are happy. And if it's just a simple smile or a simple, you know, comment or a nice gesture, then that's what I'm going to do because I really enjoy doing that. Thank you so much for this award. <laughs> Well, thank you, Broom, and thank you for your patience. Now, last but certainly not least, the Finger Lakes Western region. Who do we have repping on that side? Hi, Roger. It's David Vigiani. Hey, David. Hi. Okay. Well, first of all, I would like to say congratulations to all the recipients, and uh, all I can say is what others have already said. It's been um, extremely inspiring to hear these stories and it really makes me proud uh, to be a part of this agency. I think I'll start with uh, Finger Lakes and I'm gonna talk about uh, re Rehabilitation Counselor 2, Jamie Neal, who works at our Metro Park Day Hab in Rochester. Uh, unfortunately, Jamie was unable to attend the event today, uh, but we will be sure to catch up with her um, at our special event that we have planned on November 18th to celebrate her great achievement. So this is what Jamie's staff at Metro Park uh, Day Hab had to say about her when they nominated her for the Employee of the Year. They said, when Jamie joined our Day Hab less than a year before the COVID emergency, they, know, they, they knew that she was walking into a challenging situation. Staff turnover was high and morale was low. Jamie did not let this get her down. She jumped in with both feet and got to work fixing problems and improving morale. Because of Jamie's knowledge and experience, she was able to provide immediate, accurate guidance to staff, giving staff confidence to do their jobs well, which had an immediate, tangible impact throughout the program, especially in billing. Gone were the days of hearing the phrase, I don't know, ask someone else, which was often heard at the day hab. If you asked Jamie for answers or assistance, you got it. 
Jamie went through every single service recipient's chart and fixed any issues she found. She also rationalized and standardized their charting system so that now all charts read the same. Jamie also recognized that many of the HAB specs working at the DA program were stressed and overwhelmed by many of the new challenges brought upon by the COVID emergency. In response, Jamie offered to take over certain areas of their responsibility so that they could be more available to staff and especially individuals as uh, they were working out of the homes during the height of the COVID emergency. She ended up taking over all of the tabs building, billing, scheduling of staff, times and payroll supervision, life plan meetings, and creation of staff action plans, reaching out to others for needed documentation. On top of all that, she would clean the entire building. She then made sure that the interior of the building was repainted and needed repairs were accomplished. Metro staff know that Jamie is great at her job, is a wonderful supervisor and a good person. She exemplifies what any organization would like to see in their employees and being granted employee of the year for Finger Lakes, for Finger Lakes is an accolade that she surely deserves. So although Jamie couldn't be here today, um, we do have uh, staffing and program coordinator Kathy Perry on the line to say a few words about Jamie and what she means to the agency. David, your words are perfect. Uh, they explain Jamie Neal to the letter. I've had the privilege of knowing her her entire career here at Finger Lakes. She actually started out at one of the homes I was a manager of back in 2002. And since then, she's only grown exponentially here uh, within the scope of her responsibilities that she's carried out and for the advocacy she so strongly believes in and gives every day to all the individuals, her coworkers, uh, folks that work for her. Dependable, reliable, those are all words that describe Jamie Neal. I'm really honored to have the opportunity to say a few words about her today. and Thank her for her dedication, not only to Finger Lakes, but to what we ask people to do is put themselves first in delivering services to the individuals every day. Um, very proud of Jamie. Jamie, congratulations. What an honor. And again, an honor for me to thank you for all you do. David. Okay, now we'll move over to Western's Employee of the Year recipient. So the Employee of the Year for Western is DA1 Carrie Beckman. Carrie is now a DA1 supervisor for the Route 62 IRA on the Perrysburg team, but was at the time of her nomination, a DA1 from the, from the Villanova IRA who was filling in at the Spring Street IRA, if you can follow all the dots. Unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties at the location Carrie is at, so I will be reading um, uh, uh, information about Carrie. Carrie, this is what staff from the Spring Street IRA had to say about you when they nominated you for Employee of the Year. Carrie Beckman, DA1 from Villanova, has been temporarily filling in as the day shift supervisor for the Spring Street IRA. Carrie has done such a wonderful job stepping in and taking care of the home, its residents, and the staff that support them. Our QMRP has stated that it's fascinating to visit there during the day now and see each individual doing activities that are meaningful to them or gathering together at the end of the day to enjoy each other's companies, company. SRs are now ex exercising much more independence. It's been great to watch them grow in this way. Their socialization and patience with each other has improved greatly and it is a joy to see. It is just amazing how much more communication is happening before individuals, is happening between individuals and staff. At the same time, there is a comfortable, happy atmosphere at the home itself. It takes a lot of patience and understanding and encouragement 
for a home to attain this feeling with such a, a diverse group of active individuals. It's because Carrie has the ability to meet people where they are. Individuals are a little less into individuals who are a little less independent receive just as much attention and understanding from Carrie as those that are more independent. Carrie has excellent communication skills. When Carrie needs assistance with issues, no matter how small they might seem, she reaches out to a member of the treatment team who, will, who can assist her. And her colleagues are all the more ready and happy to help because Carrie has such an optimistic and positive person. They love being around her. Additionally, the dietitian for the home has stated that Carrie has done an amazing job at making a healthy lifestyle a priority at Spring Street. Carrie's care and continuous efforts have ensured that the service recipients living there have healthy diets and are active, and, and they, we know that they will have, this will have lasting effects on their health. The home's physical therapist has also said that she has seen great improvement to the health and well being of individuals and has been so impressed with everything Carrie has done at Spring Street. Carrie is definitely a true leader. And we are very, very fortunate in Western New York to have her part of our team. Congratulations, Carrie. Thanks so much, David. Um, so it falls upon me to uh, give remarks at the end of this session after hearing from so many uh, inspiring and uh, I, I think humbling um, remarks. I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you, both those who are employees of the year, as well as those who uh, work with the people who have been identified as employees of the year. Um, you know, we're all a team here at OPWDD. Um, we support each other. We grieve together. We struggle together, particularly in the last 18 months, and we celebrate together. And that's what we do today. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, it looks like you're all going to have maybe some uh, ability to uh, party a little bit, uh, and, and that's well deserved. Enjoy that. Uh, but from my heart to yours, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs>